Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Dog Bite Harris here. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Joshy P um, and thank everybody for tuning in today and thank Moon Runners, everybody that's involved for allowing me to be a part of it. Um, up until about an hour ago, honestly, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I knew I wanted to do something special um, for obvious reasons. Um, you know, if we can't all be in the same room together, um, hanging out. I kind of want to make a special, um, you know, set for you guys. Um, so, but anyways, uh, I'm out here on this location here. Um, I'm out just outside of my hometown, my new hometown, I own Oregon. Um, and when everybody talks about Oregon, they talk a lot about Portland. And they don't talk about the Blue Mountains and the wheat fields. This is Eastern Oregon. You know, this is a place um, that they don't talk about when they talk about Oregon, they talk about Portland. Um, but this is kind of the heartbeat of Oregon in a lot of ways. 
it's where all the agriculture comes from, you know, um, and when the Oregon Trail came through, a lot of people settled here, um, so the people that founded and settled Oregon, a lot of that history is right here, um, so anyways, I'm saying that, um, I'm out here on set, on set, on location, I guess, or whatever. Um, I didn't really think this through. This little place called Liberty Schoolhouse. Um, you know, a lot of pioneers, uh, sent their kids here to learn how to do math and read and be functioning members of a, a brand new society in a lot of ways. It's a lot of history out here. So anyways, I'm going to go inside and that's where I'm going to play my set at. Um, give me just a few seconds and then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, come back and play a few songs for you. I don't want to take up too much time on here and I don't want to be out here for too long. You know, this road's pretty desolate, but with my luck, somebody will come by and fuck with me. So <laughs> I kind of want to get in and out. It's not private property or anything. I just don't want my set interrupted or, you know, any awkward situations arising. So, I'm going to try to get in and out of here as quick as possible. <clears throat> Alright, folks. Hopefully it's not too echoey in here. I'm not going to lie, it's a little eerie out here. Let's see, what should we do? Um, getting oldie but a goodie. It's cold too, so. So, uh, of course, I had to pick the coldest day of the year to decide to do a set outside. Um, but, yeah. Um, once again, I just want to thank Joshy and the Moonrunners crew for having me. Um, I appreciate it uh, quite a bit, you know. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the sets. Um, my good buddy Bob Wayne is on this at one point in time today. So, um, I usually do a Bob cover in one of my sets. 
Bob helped me get my start. He's a good friend of mine. Um, today I think I'm gonna do Esticada. Usually I do morning time, but it doesn't quite sound right with the band. It doesn't quite fit the, I don't know, I don't wanna play anything too evil in here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing up, guys. I hope the ambiance of the video is helping to uh, um, replace the uh, shittiness of my playing. Hold on, I gotta get this bitch in tune. not coming out of my nose. I'm super attractive right now.
I don't know if you saw it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody came driving by. I knew somebody would come up. Um, I want to check and see. I'm still recording. I am still recording. Right on. All right, man. Let's see. What else should we do? Um, do My Blood, man. This is a song that means a lot to me. Um, speaking of my blood and things that mean a lot to me, um, give a shout out to my record label, Ruckus and the Records. Um, be sure to check us out online, ruckusandtherecords.com or on Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok now. Not much on our TikTok because I'm too stupid to figure out how to use it. But, um, you know, all my artists are way better than I am. And uh, we got a great roster right now. I just want to give a shout out to the Stone Evergreen Travelers, um, Cole Hinkle and the Debau Tree, uh, Hannah Moore, James Honeycutt, Felix Thursday, and uh, our new guy, um, AB and the Old Gods, man. Um, just a great group of folks we have on there right now. I think I said James Honeycutt. James Honeycutt does stuff with us. We just did a great compilation album. Um, but those guys are just some of my good friends. Um, without them, I don't feel like there would be a me. I feel like they should be in my spot right now. Um, this song's called My Blood. It's written about a number of different things that happened in my life. But whenever I play it, I actually think about this area and these vibes that you feel when you can only get when you come out here. Um. Just do this one here and then one more and we'll be done. Hold on, I'll try that again. My 
fingers are literally going numb. check the phone out again real quick warm my hands up and then we'll send you guys on your way yeah we're about 20 minutes should about 30 minutes out of this um yeah it's literally like probably 30 degrees which isn't i guess the coldest it could be but any colder i don't think i'd be out here um anyways um thanks again to moon runners for having us be sure to check out Ruckus and the Records and all of our artists on there. My name is Dogbite Harris. Um, thanks again to Joshy P for having me on here. Um, this is a title track off my latest album that I recorded like fucking 10 years ago. It's called People Like You Hate People Like Me.
Joshua P and Moonrunners once again. My name is Dog Bite Harris. Check all my stuff out at RuckusInTheRecords.com. On my Facebook page, I got a Dog Bite Harris Facebook page. I also do a podcast called Dog Water Radio. You can check that out on Facebook. Um, also, Ruckus in the Records Facebook. You can check out all of our artists. Um, we got a great roster. Appreciate everybody. Let's uh, give you guys a good look around again one more time before we take off. Look at that. This is so cool in here. I don't know why. I love it. Some people are probably like, this place is ugly. It is ugly. But it's history, man. It's beautiful. Bird shit and all, man. Holes in the floor. Kind of wish that fireplace was still hooked up. Maybe some windows were in this place. Unfortunately, man, who knows how much longer... This place is going to be standing. It feels pretty solid. I've been in a lot of buildings like this around here. You know, cool thing about Eastern Oregon is it's not super wet. So a lot of these old buildings from Pioneer's days are still standing, man. And uh, it's rare. A lot of people come out to photograph these because, you know, you can get a good feel by looking around. Of how things used to be out here. Um, can you imagine having this as your school? That'd be pretty sweet, in my opinion. Just looking out. Wheat fields. Looking out at the Blue Mountains out there. Pretty sure these grain bins weren't here. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks again for coming out. Appreciate it. <laughs>